Can you hear me? Now you can. Would all the children of Fort Street and St. John's come down front, please? I believe you're already here. Any other children of any age? You're welcome. We're going to be talking about surprises today, surprises from God. And there is, actually I have a surprise for you first. These are animals. God surprised us on day six with so many animals. Would you please select one? Good, Anika, good for you. And would you, we're going to change this up just a little bit. I'm sorry. There's another child? I don't, I don't, okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Would everyone in the, who's here, if you have a child that you'd like to give an animal to, would you raise your hand? And our three young ladies will take it around and give you one. Please raise your hand. I know they have two at home, and there's one. See, we do have many children at time with the children today. This is wonderful. All right. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. Now, they, those animals are all gone, but here is the surprise. This week, scientists discovered a new animal in South America, Olinkiko, Alinkito, Alinkito. And this is in the raccoon family. This is a photograph of it. It's smaller than a squirrel. It's a whole new animal we didn't know anything about. Now, the quest, there's many questions about this, but the biggest part of it is that this is another surprise from God. Yes, you get to keep those. God gave us animals, and that was a surprise, and you get animals this morning, and that's a surprise. And here's this living animal that's a surprise. <coughs> this animal is from South America, high in the mountains. The reason that we didn't know about this animal, because the animal lives in the cloud forest. So when scientists look up, all they can see is the water, the clouds. And finally, yeah, they live in very tall trees. They don't come down, they're tree dwellers, but they're mammals. What? I thought you meant they live in heaven. Well, maybe they think they do. Say that again, please. I thought they lived in heaven. I think maybe they do. <laughs> they live pretty close. Would you three please read the scripture that I ask you? And would you come up here to do it, please? Oh, good. Maybe he'll help you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on up. Turn around, please. Turn around. Yep. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds. All the creatures would move them on the ground according to their kind. And God saw that was good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 25. Thank you so much. You can have a seat. Now, there's another surprise we're going to talk about downstairs today. It's also part of our water stories. This is when Jesus walked on the water. 
Now, do, have you, does anyone here swim in the water? You swim in the water? Okay, lots of people swim in the water. Does any, pardon? Yes, a pool does count, definitely. Does anyone here float on the water? You float on the water? Okay, here's a question. What happens when you float, you're completely relaxed, you're floating. If you become afraid, you tense up, what's likely to happen? You sink. So imagine Jesus walking on the water with just his feet. What kind of faith did that take? Trust. What trust? He was filled with love. We are going to go downstairs and talk more about Jesus walking on the water. Let's say a prayer before we go downstairs. Would any of you three like to say the prayer? God, we thank you for bringing three wonderful young women to us this morning. We thank you always for the animals that you've brought to us. We thank you for your constant surprises and your steady love. Let all the children of Fort Street say, Amen. Amen.